Yes. Good song. That way. All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. All right, known to you people as America, but scripturally is Babylon the Great. All right, spoken of in Revelation chapter 18. Okay, we're out here also to let our people know you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the children of Israel, all right, by nationality, by your bloodline, okay? And the God of the Bible, okay, the Most High, his true name is Yahweh, and whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, his name is Yahweh Shai. So, without further ado, before we bring out these scriptures, we wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Harakah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone that taught us this truth and that continue on preaching this truth. So yeah, without further ado, uh, go ahead, bro. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Now this mark that it mentions right here, when you look at the word, that word for mark is karagma, which means an inci uh, uh, something implanted in you by incision, okay? Meaning they're gonna cut something into your flesh. And we believe and we know for a fact it to be the, uh, a biometric microchip, man, that they want to implant in your flesh. All right? Now it says, He causeth all, both small and great. And that He is talking about Esau, the so called white man, the devil. Okay? Because He's going to come down with great wrath, knowing that He had but a short time upon you so called black, Hispanics, Native Americans, and also the world. But the chief enemy, okay, nemesis of his, are you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. All right, he is Esau and we are Jacob. And as the scriptures, you know, explain to us, you know, prophecies and whatnot, Esau hates us, man, as a people. He hates us because of the blessing, the birthright, all right? So therefore, he's going to come against us by all means and any means necessary. When you read Revelation 14 and 9, which we'll get after this, it tells you the judgment for receiving that mark. Okay, which uh, you can finish that and then jump to it. So, uh, Revelation 13 and 17, it says that no man might buy or sell Say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see? So what we got coming down the pipe is the CBDC. All right? If you were paying attention to the news, the economy and whatnot, you see how the stock market keeps fluctuating, taking a heavy drop, coming up a little bit, taking heavy drops, coming back up a little bit. And then Silicon Valley Bank, all right? pretty much flatline, man, okay? Showing you that this currency, all right, is, is very tangible, man. Okay, you can't trust in uh, this fiat currency, this this uh, digital currency, man, okay? It doesn't hold, it doesn't hold physical value, all right? So what they're gonna do is they're gonna implement a digital currency, the CBDC, everything's going to go digital. But then eventually, they're going to bring out that mark. All right, the karagma, the mark of the beast, the microchip. Which you got Israelites, a lot of well-known big groups, teaching that it's not the chip, that it's a philosophy, that it's sin. Okay, which isn't true, man. Because... 
religions or, or philosophies can't buy you things, man. Okay, it says that with the mark, without the mark, you can't buy or sell. You can't trade. All right, you can't uh, uh, commit to any type of business here or throughout the world. Okay, so that mark has to be something, something physical, man. Okay, it's not something. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not a philosophy, man. It's not sin, man. Because if, if that was the case, we'd all be doomed. Okay? If that was the case. So it says that no man might buy or sell trade save he who had the mark or the number of his name. Alright? Okay, I'm gonna place a 14 Yeah, this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his right, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. You see? So if, if, if it was a philosophy, or if it was a religion, or if it was sin, we'd all be, we'd all be fucked, man. We would all be fucked. All right, because it just said that if anybody received that mark, okay, you're gonna be tormented, you're gonna be judged with fire and brimstone, all right? So there's no way in hell, all right, that, it, that it's talking about a philosophy or sin. It's a physical mark, man. It's the microchip, man. Okay, there's lots of uh, there's lots of uh, movies, there's lots of uh, TV shows, um, short films that that show you uh, uh, an understanding of that device, man. Now they don't blatantly come out and say that's the mark of the beast. That's Revelation 13, 16. No, they don't do that. Because see, the Lord, he, he, he gave this secret to the prophets to come out here and warn. All right? He gave us this truth to come out here and warn you. Okay? So although he saw likes to put it in the movies and, and um, you know, show these things, He's really not for your, for your for your turn, for your benefit. So he's not gonna tell you that it's the mark of the beast. Okay, he's not gonna tell you that the Lord is gonna judge you for taking that. But because of his witchcraft, you know, his spells, you know, he has to show you certain things in order for him to manifest it. It's like magic, it's witchcraft. That's where you get the word spell. Okay, you write out, you write something out. But you could write things out as a form of witchcraft. That's why people, especially witches, they got like diaries, they'll write something out so that they can manifest it in the physical. Okay, they're, they're, they cast spells, they, they use enchantment, they're writing them. Spellcraft, you know. Spellcraft, witchcraft, okay? So we're out here warning you, man, telling you that this is gonna take place in the near future, all right? And ultimately, it's gonna be a world war, a nuclear war. That's that fire and brimstone, that's that torment that is gonna be on your ass for taking the chip. You get that in uh, Revelation 14, 11, oh shit. Oh no, 11, 14, it's like you know? This is uh, Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. Yep, the second woe has passed, which is World War II. The third woe cometh quickly, which is this third world war, all right, which is going to take place between BRICS and NATO, okay? BRICS countries. And a lot of countries 
are linking up with BRICS. You got Mexico now that wants to join the BRICS, that's considering joining the BRICS, which is, of course, you know, going to be utilized for Esau to demonize uh, uh, the Northern Kingdom, to demonize and come against you Israelites, man. Once again, you so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, because when it comes to his New World Order, okay, the New World Order of these elite globalists, of Esau, okay, the Edomites, so-called white, so-called white people, okay, his New World Order, he doesn't want you in the picture, okay? He doesn't want you in the picture. He wants total control of the planet Earth, okay? There was a documentary, or, or actually a, a interview with uh, Aaron Russo and uh, Alex Jones, and um, they were talking about the Karagma, how the elite want to use that, uh, that device to have total control. And they'll be able to control what you buy, what you sell, places you can go, have total control over that. And if you speak against it, you revolt. Okay, they can put you to death. They can turn off your chip. Turn off your chip, and there was talks about how they could, they could uh, place uh, cyanide within those chips and cause it to malfunction and break and kill you. Or just, just to send off a signal, sort of like a kill switch device, and, and send printer drones after you, man. This is not far-fetched. Why do you think they have movies like uh, iRobot, uh, Terminator, okay? DARPA, DARPA deals with robotics, man. They just legalized it that they can use robots to kill you people now. They've made it legal for robots to uh, police the cities now. Okay, and a robot doesn't doesn't have emotions, man. A robot, a robot will not listen to your plea, man. Now you might get somebody to plead with you, but a robot, no, they just got they just got one thing on their mind, that program. So if Esau says terminate, that robot gonna terminate you. Hence the movie Terminator. When they spoke about the Terminators. They said they don't, they don't, they don't get scared. They don't get tired. They don't have mercy. They just have one goal, and that's to terminate. Okay. Which Esau, Esau is the Lord's sword on the left hand. All right. The Lord is giving him a charge over a hypocritical nation, man. Over two thirds of our people. Okay. Because two-thirds of our people are hypocrites, man. Two-thirds of our people must be recycled, man. You can't save these two-thirds, man. Okay? They're into all manner of wickedness, man. And the ultimate form of their wickedness is, is, is denying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Denying the power that created them, man. Here it is, we're out here showing you showing you the utmost love by teaching you of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But you regard it not. Okay, you don't want Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to reign over you. You don't want Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's correction. Therefore, he's going to give Esau a charge over you. And we see we have the soul in our eyes, in our mind, to see the things that Esau is about to do to our people, man. When you read 2 Ezra chapter 16, it says these, these, these demons, man, these Edomites, are gonna, are gonna come with great wrath, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, all right? And we were talking about Esau earlier, Esau's perverted, man. Esau's vile, viler than the earth. Okay, Esau will cannibalize, molest, 
uh, uh, take advantage of your of your children, of things you love, people you love, your animals, man. He's that low. He will have sex with the beast. He is that low. Okay. Yes, sir, brother. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 5 and 1. It says, Run you to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof. If you can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon him. And though they say, The Lord liveth, surely they swear both. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. You see, and that, that's our people, man. You're going through all this, all these curses, because of your transgression against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? You got you got Israelites, man, or people that that can't comprehend that they just why is this happening to me? Why why am I getting remember, remember that bum dude, dog? He would always talk about the chastisements that the Lord is putting on his ass. And here it is, we're telling him, you're going through this because of these curses. The curse that the Lord put, placed upon you. But they can't perceive that. Okay, no, 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 not my God. My God's all loving. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Talk about his wife left him. Various other curses. His family rejects him. His children don't uh, appreciate or love him the way he wants. Those are cursed because we transgressed. Okay? That's why, you know, hey, oh, oh, Romans. He says, it says, Hath not Israel obtained that which he seeking for? Right. But the election have received it. But the rest were blinded, man. Two thirds of our people are blind, man. But the election. Okay, the Israel, the Most High, are going to understand. They're going to receive the truth. They're going to understand why we're going through these things. They're going to receive the knowledge of the Lord. And now they can repent. Okay, how they can work out their salvation, man. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Having faith and working out your salvation, man. Okay. Which comes with, with obedience, man. Keeping these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Okay? And, 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 and the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, chastises us, man. Chastises you. Corrects you. Okay? Brings things upon you to make you tougher. To keep you humble. To keep you in the faith. Okay? That's why you go through these things. But you know, you got two thirds of our people that are just, they can't get it, they're blind, man. Okay, the Lord fucking them up. You know? And what do they do? They'll run to these churches. They'll go to a fucking, uh, a seance. Go to a fortune teller. A soothsayer. You know, they'll do witchcraft, bro. Commit adultery. Uh, uh, theft. Sell drugs. You know, Jake, Jake, will, Jake will find an escape route to, 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 to receive success instead of taking an L and humbly trying to make it, make it righteous. You know, yeah, I mean, that goes into the uh, hypocritical nation, as you were talking about. How many times do you see a Jake uh, as a straight up murderer walk around with a rock?
That's how. That's what it means to be hypocritical. To say that you believe in believe in the Lord, and then when the Lord is presented to you, you reject it. That's what uh, most of you people do. You'll say that you believe in God, but then when the scriptures are presented to you, showing you who God really is, you reject it. What you know? The Satan convinced of the world and what the Lord's and. Uh, Intending for it, you reject it, man. We talk about nuclear war, you say, oh, that's not in the Bible. We show you it's in the Bible and you'll still reject it. That's being hypocritical, man. Because you're saying one thing, but when the truth is prevented, presented to you, you don't want to hear it. But you love God. That's why the Lord said, truly, you know, they honor me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, or of God the power but not according to knowledge. They have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. So you got our people that, they might go to church, they might read the scriptures, but it's not according to knowledge, man. They don't know who they worship. They don't know what it means to repent. They don't know, uh, 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 they, don't, they, they don't know how to, uh, to work out their salvation, man. Okay. You got our people that'll do somewhat righteous things like, uh, you know, they believe in a higher power, but they really don't know what this is about, you know? Therefore, you know, as, it's, as it goes on to say, for they being ignorant of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves Unto the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh hey, How many times have we seen people that say they believe in God going around uh, committing themselves to their own righteousness? Right. And they'll say, oh, but I helped out at the shelter. Right. God's, you know, I'm good. You know, I'm doing my good, my good deeds or whatever. But no knowledge of the truth about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, because the Lord doesn't care about none of that, man. Because at these shelters, you got a bunch of bug outs. The Lord ain't even, the Lord ain't with the shelters, man. The Lord ain't with the churches, with the, you know, uh, the foundations that are going around feeding the poor and all this stuff, man. Because what are they doing? Sure, they're giving them slop food to eat, but they ain't giving them no truth. And also, they, they like to justify people's wickedness, man. So they got a they got a they got a zeal, but it's not according to the truth. What they'll say is, uh, Jesus died for my sins. Therefore, I could I could, he came for sinners. You know, not knowing that when you repent. You're not supposed to go back into that same avenue of destruction, man. They'll justify eating swine. They'll justify wickedness, man. And say, oh, well, the Lord died for me. You know? But that's not according to knowledge, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, died for the elect. Because the elect are going to understand. Okay? that what what repentance means okay what it means to repent which means to turn back man okay turn back from your sins man okay yeah i wish i said he said go and sin no more he didn't say hey i covered your sins it's okay i'm gonna save you he was telling you sin no more. 
you got to earnestly contend for the faith. You got to earnestly contend, contend for your salvation, man. You can't continue on in sin. Okay? Continue on in wickedness. Because you see, the Lord, when He returns, He's going to destroy this kingdom. He's going to destroy this whole fucking system, man. Because it's wicked. Okay? The Lord hates wickedness, man. Alright? And he is a man, he is not a man that, 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 he is not a man that should lie, or can lie. You know? If that was the case, he'd allow Esau to fucking continue on ruling forever. Okay? He'd allow Jake to just be a, just be a fucking nigga for all eternity. Flying around the kingdom smoking blunts. You know? killing each other. That's not the case, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai was a sacrifice so that we can become perfect one day. Okay? To buy us back to the Heavenly Father. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to return and judge this earth. Two-thirds of our people because you are from below, you are of this earth, of this world. Okay? Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Or if you can receive this, man. Yeah, it's, it's never too late to repent, man. Right. I heard that. I've heard that from uh, very prominent brothers of the truth. You know, they say, "Oh, the Lord can forgive you for everything, man. For anything." Yeah, you know, as the brother said, righteously contend for the faith, man. That means. You know, that's, that's really the work. Uh, first and foremost is you repenting. God, which is, which is a work. That's a work, man. It is. It's a work. You know, break, breaking uh, habits and, you know, thought process and different things like that. That takes work, man. When you go to demolish a house, you know, it takes work to break something down in order to rebuild it, man. You know, we have Yahweh by Shemiah Shai to help break us down. You know, that's what the scriptures are for, man. That's what, you know, uh, uh, chastisement is for, the different experiences you go through, man. When you uh, have the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, uh, going off, you know, doing stuff wrong, there's a price to pay for that, man. This is uh, Amos 9 and 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent them. That's, that's a high level of pride to think that the Lord is not going to do neither good nor evil to you. See, that's why that's why we're out here doing what we do, man. We're out here doing what we do because we want to be forgiven for our, uh, our sins and stuff that we've done. This is what we're working towards, man. You know, the Lord having mercy on us. You know, that's why we're out here, week in and week out. That's why you should be doing, you, you got to do the same thing, man. You got to repent and seek your how about you now and now, man, before it's too late. Work off that debt before it's too late, man. That's what it's about. You know, even those, they, they come in at the last minute to receive the penny. But they still did some, they still came in, they still gave them, uh, put in some work. They still gave in some effort. That repentance, that's, that is a work. To repent is a work, man.
to ask for forgiveness for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to actually reflect <coughs> on things. That's something the Lord looks at because it's like, all right, well, this, you know, he's acknowledging his offense. He's acknowledging his wickedness, man. That's something good. You know, you got a lot of these fucking people that don't even want to acknowledge, you know, the offense. And what do you think the Lord's going to do to those that are too proud to humble themselves before the Lord and even just acknowledge? Just acknowledge the Lord, man. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Right, there's many of you out there that are despisers of the word. how I see now aside, man. But he that feareth the commandment shall be reward, rewarded. Right, and if you fear the commandment, that means you're going to keep the commandments. But you're going to come out on the highways and hell just to work this, work this bad off, man. Go ahead. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Right, what are the snares of death? Sin. The wages of sin is death. Committing sins, that's a snare unto you, man. Trap. That's a trap. You know, that's why Esau, that's why Esau's system is rigged with snares and nets. All this sinful and this wickedness, man. <coughs> the brain, all this, uh, uh, you know, uh, we say brainwashing in a good way, but Esau does brainwashing in a bad way, man. He washes your, your brain with poison, man. That's what you got. That's what you got here, man. To the point where these people are so out of their minds that they're out of touch with reality. But the Lord is about to give give everybody a, a, a raw dose of reality, soon, man. You know, these they're so far out that you know these they, these women think they're over men. Everybody's turning into a damn tranny, a homosexual, a femme boy. They're becoming transformers. Yeah. You got more, you see more and more of these little kids, they're all, these little boys, man, and they're all feminine. And you see more and more of these little girls, all masculine, man. Just the other day I showed the brother, uh, sport, the, the, remember Sports Illustrated, when we grew, when we were growing up, you got some bad honeys on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Now the other day some dude showed me, and I showed the brother, the cover of the Sports Illustrated model of, 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 of this month is a fucking tranny, bro. Yeah. And when you look at it, you couldn't tell, you couldn't tell bro. You couldn't tell. You couldn't I, tell. I, I was even I was watching the Hot Twins. They did an episode about it, yeah. and they were showing like a video of that thing talking and stuff, man, and like just how it looks normally yeah. with makeup on and all that type of stuff. You still, you couldn't tell even the way the thing talked was feminine, man. It sounded like a woman. Yeah, bro. They fuck with their vote, bro. He's, man, bro. He's always a mad, a mad, mad nigga, man. It's to the point where these doctors are telling these fucking uh, delusional trannies, man, that one day in the future they're gonna, they're gonna transplant uteruses into men so they can have babies. See, that's not possible. It's not possible, man. Where are you gonna fucking put the uterus? Right. And the, and the Hodgkins made a great point when they brought it out. The, your parts, your, your body won't function with those other parts. You'll fucking die. That's just like putting water into a, into a, into a, uh, into the gas tank of a, of a, of a motor vehicle. That shit'll break. It should fall apart. Yeah. It's not designed to receive water as a replacement for its fuel. Exactly. You just people are like, out of your mind. Like, no. no, I just wanted to say you people are fucking gone, man. Yeah. That's why. That's why this place is gonna be destroyed, man. We, we can't grow. We, what the fuck? You wanna live in a place that's so confused that they that the concept of male and female is, is, is confused at this point, man. To the, like you got, you literally have these people talking about, oh, a, a doctor assigned you as male from birth, but you're not really a boy. Well, how did the doctor assign that boy as male? Because that baby had a dick and balls, man. The little girl had a vagina. 
That's clear. That's clear. Binary, man. Two separate entities. There's no confusion there. But these people are fucking crazy. You know. Uh, that's that's why the scripture says revelation of the nation. That's why I'm going. Oh man. That's exactly where I. That's exactly where I'm going, man. Yeah. And I, I would like to say this, you know, uh, and the scriptures also say male and female created he them. Right. All right. He didn't say he created them to choose to be male or female. Okay. It says fe male and female. He created them. Okay. He created men and women, men, children, women, children. Okay. And, and that's the way you are. That's your spirit. That that spirit was either feminine or masculine. And that's the way that spirit will be for all eternity. Okay? What, what What's going on now is that these people got demons on them. But see, in the kingdom, when our kingdom is established, okay, these people, these spirits are going to come back. And they're going to be like, what the fuck? What was I thinking? And forever, if that spirit was created to be a female, it's going to come back a female. All right? Especially if you're an Israelite. Yeah. You ain't going to get that thought of, you know, that these other nations are going to still have demons on them. But that's just going to get squashed quick. You know? Yeah, spirits, spirits are created male or female. It's not like you go, you know, you die and then your spirit gets taken. You come back one lifetime, you a male, and another lifetime, you're a woman. That's not how it works, man. Right. That's why he told Jeremiah, I knew you, I knew you from the womb, man. Yep. And that's why it says in Corinthians that not all flesh, uh, that not all flesh is the same flesh. You know? Whatever you are, your genetic makeup, that's what you are for eternity, man. You don't fucking come back as a toad, you know? Or like fucking Elon likes to make you come back as a cow. Right, know? right. No, man. Yeah, it make no damn sense. When you're a human, you come back as a human and by your specific class, male or female. Right, because you get created a spirit. And whatever, you that's what you have. You have the spirit. If you're an Israelite male, that's what you have the spirit of, is an Israelite male. Like this is Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Right, because the Lord created Jeremiah's spirit. That's who he is for all eternity. That's Jeremiah, that's him. He is that spirit, man. It said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet under the nation. Even going further than, than being a, a male Israelite, also, his spirit is the spirit of a prophet. You, you got all these different properties attributed um, to a spirit. You know, this spirit's gonna be this way. It's gonna be a malignant spirit. You know, it's gonna be a spirit of death and chaos right here. This is gonna be a spirit, you know, spirit of a prophet. This is gonna be the spirit of an artist. That's why, that's why when you are growing up, you're drawn to, you, people are drawn to different things. You know, somebody uh, might like building houses. They like woodworking and brick brick laying and stuff like that. Another person might look like that and be like, "That's awful. I would never want to do that. I would rather paint." But then the bricklayer is like, "Fuck paint. I don't want to do that." That's because different spirits are assigned different, uh, you know, properties, man. This is First Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Yeah, they're subject to the prophets. That's mean you when you're in subjection to something, it means you're a slave to it, man. So there's nothing there's nothing you can do. Noah tried to run away from it. He couldn't do that because his his spirit was subject to the prophet. Jonas, Jonas like Jonas. Yeah, he tried to flee from the Lord. And the Lord made him, made him go prophesy. <laughs> and, and, it, and it grieved him at the end, remember? He was like, man, what? Because he knew. He yeah. said, I knew that not, not mercy is great and that you would have mercy upon them if they repented. 
Now the reason why he was set up to do that because those Israelites there. Remember uh, 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 they Tobit. Got, they got taken to Nineveh. Yep. They got stolen, man. Yeah. And, and Tobit. That 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 prophecy was fulfilled at the end of Tobit. Tobias and Tobit. You know, which is the apocrypha. You know. So it's not like the Lord wasn't going to judge that place. It was just on the Lord's time. You know. And, and that's beautiful, man, because. You know, uh, we never thought we would be doing this, man. You know, shoot, I never thought, in the world, I never thought the Bible was the truth. You know, I had a concept, an understanding of a higher power or of a power, something, but it was never, you know, the scriptures, man. It's like, man, it all makes sense. You know, we were all in the congregation of the dead. But see, Shai, he quickened us, man. Yeah. He, he uh, revived us, resurrected us, man. You know, with the Spirit, you know. It's a beautiful thing, God. I wish we could get that too. Yeah, I'm going to go. Jeremiah? Yeah, okay. well, it's not Jeremiah, but uh, Ephesians. Oh, go ahead. This is uh, Ephesians 2 and 1. It says, And you have the quicken who were dead in trespasses and sins. Yep, see, we were dead. We were dead. We were outside the truth. Okay, we were spiritually dead. All right? Living after the flesh. Living after sin. Then the Lord gave us his wisdom. And now, okay, we're alive. We're alive in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Waharakak You know. And, and Lord willing, we uh, continue on to receive eternal life. If there weren't Israelites in America, why would Levi be ginger? It's a question. Why would Levi be what? Ginger. Ginger? Yes. Because he was the black sheep of the family. Levi was a nice family. Where does it say he was ginger? He was, he, no, he was ginger. What do you mean by ginger? Ginger, like red hair? Yes. Where does it say that? <laughs> we all, we all come in different colors. Let me see it. Where is your body? I'll show you right there. The Where? Oh, touch my finger. Ow! He bit my finger! Don't touch my finger. Where is it at in the Bible? Proverbs 1717. That's not people. Yeah, that's not even what does it say? Proverbs 1717. I'm gonna go to Proverbs 1717. Look at this. Not impressed by all your jewelry, brother. What impresses me is what you know up here about this, the word of the Lord. You can't talk to us, I'm not trying to impress you. But anyways, the scripture's talk. Proverbs 17, 17, 17. Just getting it for you. Yeah, I'm going to go in there. You have a Bible right there. I got a bunch of them. Can I read them? Proverbs 17 and 17. Uh, Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loveth at all times, and the brother is born for adversity. What does that have to do with what you're talking about? Yeah, the, the Bible is nowhere anywhere describes Levi as Ginger. That doesn't mean anything. Just because you think, think, if you think I'm blue, does you, that make I think I'm you're blue? blue. You're Look at your eyes, you're, you're blue. Out of, you're out of your mind. This is Jeremiah chapter 12 verse 9. How do you tell my name? My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Okay, so Israelites in the beginning were dark skinned. Alright? But through mingling with other nations, okay, the blessing that was put on Abraham, that through his seed, all nations should be blessed. We all started looking different, man. We all started looking different. Okay, so for this bug out, are there are there Israelites like, are ginger? Yeah. Okay. But Levi was not a ginger. But our our patriarchs were not gingers. <laughs> yes, you are. Our patriarchs were not gingers. You are gingers. Okay. You got bug outs out here. Yes, the of the Bible. But that's why the Lord is coming to destroy this place. It says, "My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird." The birds round about are against her. 
come ye assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Hey, there's something to be said about the birds. Look, like this this is one of the birds that are against her. Man. Right. Not against her. You are? I am for her. You are, for you are obviously against I'm 100% for the Lord. The truth, man. I'm the birds the roundabout are I've against the dogma. I That's why when Israelites come out with so high. You, get, you get crazies to come out and... and, and and Goofy. Yes, Goofy. No. You know, Goofy was actually but, a cow. Hey, Israel is Goofy scattered was among all cow. nations. Because, hey, Israel ruled in Europe. Goofy was actually a cow. And you had uh, so called white women that were slaves in Europe, man, while Jake was Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> That's well, how you got the Sicilians, in Europe, the Vladimir Irish, the Scott. You had like the black Irish. Not Putin, but Vladimir was the one oh. that, that liberated the women. You know, the uh, different. Uh, I, I, dude, I can prove it if you let me see a phone. Different I skin tones the one that, that in Europe. Them all. <coughs> due to I'm Jake mingling with the nations. And Jake's been mingling, mingling with the Trevor nations Benjamin for uh, a Austin, very Austin long Austin time. Austin. Pierce. You know? I mean, Christ. Sorry. What's that? Isaiah? You have Isaiah 11 11. Isaiah 12 12. <laughs> the brother read about the speckled bird. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Poor little Rob. <coughs> walk, walk all in his right? Plenty of examples in the truth, man, or in the scriptures. When did you break out the love of the This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. <coughs> and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Shinar. We all know everything good comes from Cush. And from Elam, and from Shinar, I love and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Islands of the Blue Dolphin. Right, so Jake was going, was populating. Man. <laughs> no, this but Canaan, the patriarchs, the, Jacob. This, it was Canaan the one uh, populating in, in, this, in, the, in those fields and stuff. You know? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, so on and I so forth. Benjamin. Well, they weren't gingers, man. They were dark skinned. They had wooly hair. Well, you know, they you know as the scriptures talk, talk about Yahweh's uh, side, oh, he had wooly oh. hair, yes, sir, and his yes, feet sir. were like on the fine grass as if it burned in a furnace. One for little you know, little all, this, other, all the other textures and, and, and skin tones and everything came from Jake going Levi. out mingling among all it the other from, nations. It came from Isaac's brother, the one that was supposed to get inherited. You know, it, even Solomon said it, I am black but comely. Yep. Which that word black, when you look it up in Hebrew, kwadar. That's why they're Which means now. dark skinned. They're ginger now because that's how they okay. had in plain sight. Because the Israelite, everybody on the planet Earth is an Israelite. In, in the beginning were dark skinned. No, they were not all Israelites. Because that would mean what that. What are you reading from? We're here from the Bible. You're a bugger. Bible, please. You're a bugger. May I see a Bible? Okay. You're a zealot. So we were, we, we were mingled. You're a zealot. Okay. You're a zealot, then. Israelites. You're nothing but a zealot. We're scattered throughout the four the corners of the earth. All right? I am an Israelite. You're a bugger. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a bad man. You're a buggy like. Psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> see, the Lord needs to come with that healing, man. <laughs> because you got a lot of sick motherfuckers out here, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 12. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai, of host, shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low, and upon all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, and upon every high tower, and upon every fenced wall, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all pleasant pictures, and the loftiness of man shall be brought, shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of man shall be made low, and Yahweh Shai alone shall be exalted in that day. Yeah, the Lord's gonna destroy everybody like that, man. Yeah. like that guy. Which that dude's extra, man. He's a he's a bug out and a half, man. That dude, he ain't playing with a full deck. Turn on the half show. The Lord's gonna yeah. the Lord's gonna slay that dude uh, gruesomely, man. <coughs> something gonna happen. Something gonna happen to him, man. Yup, and the Lord, the, 
The Lord's gonna come against everybody that's proud. Now the most proud is Esau, the so-called white man. Alright? The Lord gonna bring his ass. Okay, they got spaceships and space stations and skyscraper mansions and castles. This whole empire is his. But yeah, how about Shimmy Shai gonna bring this motherfucker low, man? Yeah. The great power that this guy harnesses, okay, when Yahweh Shai returns, he's gonna he's gonna decimate him, man. Okay? Cause he saw he saw the so-called white man all right, was just set up for a time and a season. Okay, he was set up to be proud. He was set up to make these people proud. So that they all could be judged, okay, in that in that very same at that very same time. You know. The day of the Lord is is isn't gonna be a pretty day, man. Okay. The day of the Lord is in flowers, daisies, and sun kisses for everybody, man. Okay, the day of the Lord is, is terrible, man. It says that we're scarcely going to be saved. Okay? Lord willing, we're part of that number. It says we're scarcely going to be saved. Meaning we're going to be in fear, man. Fear and hopes that the Lord saves us, that He has mercy on us, man. We're hopeful. We're hoping. You know, not like these proud people that think they got it, man. Not like these bug outs out here, these Babylonians that could just come against the word of the Lord, thinking they know the word of the Lord. Wandering the streets aimlessly. These people are sick, man. There's more. Um, it says, And the idols he shall utterly abolish, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, for fear of the Lord. And for the glory of his majesty, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. That's what the Lord's going to do, man. He's going to arise terribly to shake this earth. He's going to shake this earth with nuclear missiles. That's my right. question. It says the earth shall rear to and die in the name of the Lord. Like a drunkard, man. Would you die and in this the name man of the Lord? here is going to get caught up in that fire, man. Those nuclear missiles, man. I'm afraid of them. Watch when, watch when martial law hits. He's, he's going to be shaking terribly in his, in his shoes, man. Okay? It says the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Bet you that, that guy can't run a fucking mile without getting tired, man. Alright? Yahweh Bashimi Shai is going to rise up against this place, man. And nuclear missiles are going to hit this place, man. I don't give a damn who you are. You see nuclear missiles coming, you're going to run to your nearest bunker. You're going to be thinking about how you can escape. You're going to be praying to, to sweet Jesus in that time. Or your other gods. Alright? We're gonna be we're gonna be afraid. Calling upon the names of Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Okay? And we know the Lord is merciful, but we're still gonna be afraid. Alright? Now I say that now as a man. I don't know what spirit the Lord's gonna put us put on us in that time. You know? You never know. Okay? The Lord could put the Holy Spirit on you a hundredfold. 144 fold to where you're just supremely confident, man. Okay? And the Lord said, you know, he's gonna he's 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 gonna say, come up hither. And it says they ascended up into heaven in a cloud. Alright? But man, it does say we're gonna be scarcely safe. Scarcely reminds me of the word scared. Okay. Although it means you know, like scarcely, like barely, okay, just enough, all right, but you people that keep coming against the Lord, His Word, your ass out, okay, you're out, all right, that's what the Lord said in the scriptures, that we're going to laugh in that day, when your calamity cometh, okay, Judges 5 and 11.
It says, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. See, it says, they that are delivered from the noise of, from the, you know, I can paraphrase it, but. Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. They that are delivered from the noise of archers, man. That's a future prophecy. Okay, the modern day archery, archer, okay, the modern day arrows are missiles, man. ICBMs. Which is an acronym for intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay, because these missiles are going to travel from different continents to another, from one continent to another. Okay, hence Dong Feng, which is East Wind, the Moabite missile. Hence Satan 2, or Sarmat, okay, which is one of the most powerful missiles of this, of this current day which is a Russian nuclear ICBM. Okay, it says they that are delivered from those things, man. They that are gonna be delivered from the noise of archers because when these missiles detonate, it's gonna make a loud noise. And when these missiles detonate, as it speaks about in the book of Joel, what's left behind is gonna be a fucking wilderness, man. A desert. All the elements are going to melt with fervent heat. Okay, everything you see is going to vanish into raw fucking material, man. Into into sand, bro. Okay, as it also says in Revelation, that the elect are going to be sitting on the sea. Of, they're going to be sitting uh, on a sea of glass mingled with fire, man. Or above a sea of glass mingled with fire. Talking about they're gonna be in a chariot looking down at this place getting nuked. Okay, getting turned into sand, man. Okay. The Lord's gonna shake this earth up, man. With judgment, with fire. Okay. Now not all the earth is gonna be destroyed, not all the planet. But America's gonna be destroyed. Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed. Alright? Nobody is ever going to dwell here from generation to generation. Once this place is nuked, it's never coming back. This is going to be a monument and memorial of wickedness, man. You know, this place has caused so much pain, so much uh, melancholy, man. So much sadness to the elect, man. To the Israelites, man. To the prophets. As it says, you know, that, that she was drunk with the blood of the saints, man. That the Lord is going to avenge our blood upon this place, man. For all the wickedness, man. All the fucking violence. You know, that, that you Edomites have caused upon us here, man. Look at our children, man. They're all bugged the fuck out because of Esau, man. You got your children, you, got, you might have a little girl, she wanna play with fucking boys toys and shit. You know? It's fucking wicked, man. Judges 5 and 11, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there so they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, there shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. You know, hey, and the, I want to bring that out because, you know, we're the we're of the hopefully elect, but see, we're out here trying to work out our salvation, man. So we're rehearsing these righteous acts. The Lord actually takes notice of these things. But you, for you people that scoff at the word, or you want, you know, uh, uh, you just uh, bugged out, man. You have no hope, man. Only the hey, hope is only in Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. Plain and simple. It, it, that's that's it. If the Lord ain't with you, you do, man. The Lord's 
intention is to destroy the wicked from off the face of the earth, man. Hey, man, oh, get a Zephaniah. What was that? Three and eight. God. The Lord's determination is to gather the nations, man, and pour out his wrath upon them. Man, hey, there's a blessed generation and the, there's a cursed generation, man. You know, the scriptures talk about you are a blessed generation, man. You know, there is a, you, you Israelites that wake up to the truth, you know, fear the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that's a blessing bestowed upon you. Everybody else, man, is cursed. All you other Jakes are cursed, man, according to uh, Romans 11, where it says the, the rest have been blinded. It said, let that table be a stumbling block to them, man. That's why you have so many, that's why you got so many Jakes that are atheists or Muslims or all kind of other stuff, man. Stuff. They're getting away from these from these Edomite churches, man, but they're running, they're running from other idols. Yo, other Marina Satan, bro. Directly. Yeah, you got you got a lot of these Jakes that are straight up into Satan, man. You know? Out here, uh, out here shooting and killing people, selling drugs, and then trying to get a record deal, rapping and shit, selling their soul for for money, man. You know, because it's caught, it's caught on to these jakes that the way, the way to uh, to fulfill your lust is to go through Satan, man. So they be trying to go hard in this Satanism thing, man. You know, you have, uh, uh, what was that, what's that fucking guy, uh, singer, uh, Starboy? The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that song, Starboy, when he came out with that, he had that video. And it was basically him, it was basically, a, uh, him, uh, selling his soul. It was like a little play of him selling his soul, selling out, man. He had that cross or whatever in the video, yeah, like lightsaber cross. Yeah, all that, all that was all subliminal messaging, man. Well, that's what Esau does. He, he, that's he, he he deals with subliminals, man. <coughs> yes, sir. This is Zephaniah chapter three, verse eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith ye, I will buy Shimmy, I will shine. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. Right, who is the prey, man? The prey is the wicked. Esau, Edom, the other nations. All right? Because Esau and these other nations, they were in league with each other and taking Israel down, man. All right? Jake was ruling in Europe. Well, yeah, and then uh, you had the 1400s, you know, which came came about the uh, the end of days, basically. When you read in Ezra, it talks about how Esau is the end of the world, man. So basically the beginning of the end is the 1400s when Esau started coming into power, uh, taking down Jake, man. <coughs> and his plan was to do away with the name of Israel. And that's what he did. That's why it says in uh, Obadiah that his anger did tear perpetually. You know, he saw, he saw, he hated us from the from the womb. Right? Yeah, that's why coming out with this truth, he saw scoffs at it, man. Because he don't, he don't want to come out and admit who you actually are, man. Because if he does that, he's true, man. If he actually got, if he actually came out and admitted who the Israelites are, then that means that means everything that we're saying is true. Yeah. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, man. And through fear we persuade men. This is why we talk about these things. This is why we talk about death uh, and fear. You know, destruction, chaos. We talk about all these things <coughs> because it's supposed to motivate you to repent. <coughs> It's 
supposed to be a motivation for you to seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh while you may be found. You should be seeking the Lord right now, man, before it's too late. The Lord's determination is to destroy uh, uh, the wicked, man. He said, all, they said, Amos 9, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man. The Lord is coming down here to, to humble everybody that's lifted up. Everybody that's speaking against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man, one way or another. You know, and this thing isn't over, man. But, hey, it tells you in the la in the last days there shall be scoffers, man. It's just gonna get the scoffers are just gonna get worse and worse. It says we're gonna be black, we're gonna be uh, uh, defamed, man. We're gonna be uh, demonized, put at the forefront. Then everybody, then every so everybody can blaspheme against you. How about some you man? Right. That's what it's for. We're here to we're here. Uh, uh, to uh, to take take these stripes, you know, in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh so that His purpose, His will, can be done, and His will is for all, all you people that hear the word to to hear about this truth, and those that are going to receive it, receive it, and those that are going to blaspheme and 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 uh, uh, scoff and scorn, are you going to receive your reward? But these are the these are the days that we're living in, man. The days of the end. All right. <laughs> the elect are waking up. The elect are going to be uh, mistreated, man. Defamed, uh, uh, demonized, right? So that and, and, and so that the word could be uh, uh, heard throughout the four corners of the earth, man, and everybody can catch their judgment. That's why in the scriptures it says that we're martyrs. That our bodies are a living sacrifice. We're, hey man, we're here uh, uh, following in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai, and we know what happened to the Lord, man. He was hated. <coughs> he was mistreated. That's our luck, man. That's why we get bug outs to come up here and, and act stupid. Because really, they hate Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. They hate the truth. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 9 But beloved, we are persu persuaded I said persuaded We are persuaded better things of you And things that accompany salvation right. no, better, better things of us, hopefully We're hoping for better things Right, you people are, you charged man. That's what you got to look forward to, being charged man getting melted. Alright, for us, better things. Lord willing, man. Go ahead. It says, and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. For Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous 